Hi there, and welcome to Apple World. Not Mace is approaching to spill some more tea on Diddy and uncover him. Right when we felt that we had heard the remainder of Diddy and his antics, an ever-increasing number of individuals are beginning to spill the tea on him and how he is. As terrible as the claims say that he is, his previous craftsman, Mace, just joined the consistently expanding rundown of individuals who are uncovering Diddy and telling it for all intents and purposes. Also, kid, is he spilling the most smoking and spiciest of teas? Every individual who knows Diddy and Mace realizes that they could do without one another the least bit. Mace used to be endorsed by Awful Kid Records during the 90s, yet he left the name after a few extremely muddled conditions. Diddy and Mace had a significant spat not long before Mace chose to leave. Mace asserted that he composed the majority of Diddy's rap stanzas while he was endorsed to the record mark, and that Diddy never gave him credit for that, rather imagining that he composed the bars, not Mace. Mace likewise asserted that Diddy stiffed him on the cash that he made during his time at Awful Kid Records, guaranteeing that Diddy came up short on him for a portion of the ventures and didn't pay him by any means for a few different tasks. Mace didn't keep his mouth shut about this, since he was very clear about not being paid by Diddy. In counter, Diddy went far beyond an attempt to debase Mace, defaming him in the business and making it unimaginable for him to get endorsed to another mark. This sort of makes sense of why Mace never truly exploded as a rapper subsequent to leaving Terrible Kid Records, despite the fact that he was a skilled rapper and he could write and spit bars. Diddy has consistently denied this, asserting that Mace didn't get a lot of cash flow at Terrible Kid Records. He proceeded to guarantee that Mace had left rap and transformed into a phony minister since he didn't have the stuff to make it in Hollywood. You know, I did one collection with Mace. One collection. How much cash do you suppose I owe this person? One collection. And afterward, he turned into a phony minister and proceeded to con individuals. Indeed, Mace didn't accept this without a fight, and he said this, and I need to explain to you why. You know, in the event that Satan can utilize him forcefully, then I believe you should realize God could utilize me forcefully. These folks have coordinated a mass, coordinated effort to defame my name in the background. So every time I say something, you're simply seeing my part on the grounds that their part is in the background. In any case, I believe that you should know that I'm available. I'm available. I'm blessed for it. I'm blessed to oust evil. Things have been quiet on Mace's end for some time now. However, after the strike on Diddy's homes by country security, Mace emerged to say a couple of words regarding the reason why he, in the long run, decided to leave Terrible Kid and not think back. What's more, saying the least is fascinating. Did you settle on the ideal choice of leaving rap? I did indeed. Everything now that we see playing out was everything I got away. The vehicle, the sparkle, the solitary Puff Daddy, and the Craig Mac. Biggie Smalls, the big deal Smalls. So despite the fact that I settled on those choices and it cost me cash, that is the reason I got with Killa, and they gave me the cash back. I didn't lose any cash, predetermination. In any case, he didn't stop there since he likewise uncovered Diddy for supposedly subtly recording famous people who came to his gatherings without their insight, as per Mace. Diddy has each and every room in his home set up with cameras and receivers, so he has some hard proof for the celebrities who have been in his home. What's more, taking into account that Diddy is known to toss the absolute greatest, most stunning gatherings in Hollywood, where the celebs in attendance are tank crazy or high young ladies, we should simply say that he has soil on most celebs that you can imagine. To place in context how insane this is and how broad it is, Diddy has purportedly been doing this since the 90s and that implies that he has been gathering proof and shakedown material for over 25 years, which lets us know that he likely has more tea on these celebs than the NSA or the FBI or anything Macy's cases sort of accumulate. With what Lil Pole said in the claim, where he asserted that Diddy supposedly recorded famous people without them knowing, and afterward, he holds it over them. The claim said that while residing and going with Mr. Brushes, Mr. Jones found that Mr. Brushes has stowed away cameras in each room of his home. Mr. Jones trusts that Mr. Brushes has accounts of famous people, music industry executives, lawmakers, and competitors. It went on with data and conviction that these people were recorded without their insight or consent. Mr. Brushes has a compromising film of each and every individual that hosts went to his free golf gatherings and his local gatherings. Upon data and conviction, because of the gold mine of proof he currently possesses, 
Mr. Brushes accepts that he is exempt from the rules that everyone else follows and is unapproachable. This makes sense of why we haven't seen numerous celebrities emerge to denounce Diddy for the claims. That is to say, when R. Kelly was getting uncovered, we were seeing numerous celebrities emerge to denounce his activities and offer help to the people in question. However, with regards to Diddy, 50 Pennies is the only one denouncing him since they realize that he has all the tea on them, and the last thing they need is for him to spill it. Fans left remarks saying Mace cherishes this Diddy karma. Anything that Mace saw Diddy do drove him to the congregation. He didn't remain there, yet he certainly knew to escape to Jesus subsequent to being around the Diddy, and Mace saw something so insane at Awful Kid. He left Hip Bounce when he was the most blazing rapper in New York, and turned into a minister. That is all I want to be familiar with, Diddy. Subscribe Apple World for more videos.